from California. And uh, so the government had some good vision and they said, let's make a requirement for electric cars. And uh, so they forced everybody, General Motors and uh, Toyota and, and Honda and Ford, in order to like sell any kind of car in California, you uh, also have to sell electric cars. So this is a very good thing. And uh, the, the big surprise is that the electric cars they made were very, very good. And, and people liked them a lot. Uh, you could uh, maybe only go 60 or 100 miles, or how many kilometers is that? But uh, for about five years, there were many electric cars in California. And then the car companies and many, many different factors came together. The oil companies got involved, of course. Uh, they canceled the program. They took all the electric cars back. And uh, then they secretly destroyed them. So this happened to me because I had one of these electric cars. Uh, and now almost for 10 years. And the first car I had, they took away and, and they crushed. So we decided to uh, make a movie about this uh, for two reasons. One to show the world that electric cars are possible now, not in the future, but now, and that actually they're really pretty amazing. Electric cars are perfect for urban environments or islands or any place where in one day you don't drive more than, you know, maybe 50, 60 kilometers a day. And now it's perfect, there's not a problem with the batteries. And so it turns out that for in the United States, for Americans, everybody drives on average, 40 miles or less. So electric cars are really good for everybody. I think hydrogen is a giant waste of money, and uh, hydrogen fuel cells were sold by the car companies and by the oil companies, uh, and they took a lot of money from many countries. This is a good future technology, perhaps, but uh, batteries are possible now and they were possible in 1990 and they were possible in 1980 when uh, ice one went completely green um, but uh, car companies don't want you to switch to electricity and the oil companies don't want you to switch they want you to stay on petrol um, and the reason they like hydrogen is because you take electricity and you you turn it into a fuel so now the oil company has something to ship they have something to make you go to the pet hydrogen station and uh, uh, it's not necessary. In fact, if you just kept the electricity and put it in a battery, there's actually more power and it's cheaper. It takes three or four times more electricity to make the same amount of power as hydrogen than if you put it in a battery. Today, you can buy, if you're a, a Icelandic, a, a, a short-range electric car. You don't have to wait for the you know, car in three years. Just get a car or, or an electric scooter because your power is free. And an amazing thing about uh, all electric vehicles is they don't need very much repair. Uh, this is one reason that car companies, they don't, like they, they don't like electric cars because with a petrol car, you have tune-up, you have carburetor, you have oil changes. None of this is necessary with electric cars. It's very simple. Every consumer, almost every consumer, wants to see what happens to you with your electric car. I'm going to wait to see if the electric car is working before I'm going to try one. And unfortunately, with petrol prices and global warming, everyone needs to take more risks right now. In our film, we are critical of the consumers, uh, in, in our case, American consumers, that they are not willing to maybe try something new. Car companies love hybrids because you have to repair both the engine, just like the old days, and now also an electric motor. So they will have all the service business they've always had. Now, perhaps this is a little bit cynical, but there's some truth to it. If, if you have experienced electric cars by themselves, it's nice not to have the complication of an engine. On the other hand, um, the advantage of a hybrid is that now you can go for 300 miles or 500 kilometers without having to recharge ever and you don't have to worry about it. And many people believe, like the, the conference that Iceland had here, mm -hmm. this uh, plug-in hybrid is a good option because now you can plug in during the day or at night, and every day you can go 50 kilometers, the first 50 kilometers on electricity, and then switch to gasoline if you have to. But I hope that when I come back, more and more plug-in cars are here right now. They have five. 
Maybe next time we come here, there can be 500 or 5,000.